Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to what might be possibly the last episode for Black Skylands, the full release version here on Natural Professional Walkthroughs channel. So, on the previous episode, what we've done was to liberate the final islands, and we went to the Sickle Archipelago and the Carpenter's Valley, which has been changed because the initial region of the Carpenter's Valley is where you, like, go through the tutorial, but uh, the game has undergone a few changes, and so now the Carpenter's uh, Valley had actually the creatures from the swarm in there, and even, like, the rocky cliff was changed because a portion of the island is covered by the swarm, and so this creates some sort of new opportunities, new enemies, and I was actually surprised at how many uh, weapon mods I was getting. So, uh, the progress for my game is currently set up so that we would go and go for the Whale Hunter's Valley, uh, this is going to be interesting to see if there is a, still a bug which was implemented during the early access. So what happened to me was that I was approaching at around this location and all of a sudden the moth which I have with me just took me off the ship and flew me somewhere and the ship continued to fly so I had to like load up a save file or something. So that was weird and annoying. And after that, we're gonna go after Kane and see if we can get even to this island, whatever the hell it is. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, this location, the Whale Hunter's Valley, should have three uh, golden chests. Currently, I am sitting at 47 out of 51, which is not good for me. Because that means that somewhere on the entire map, I must have missed one goddamn chest. So, I will have to go and look for it somewhere. And that's going to be a pain in the ass because Carpenter's Valley has three. Uh, Wing Island has two. Big Water Island has three. Uh, Whitefin and the Hangry Gardens, they have like five. Uh, the Broken Stairs has four. We have the Glutton Island that has two, Moth Nest should have three, then, then there's Tramps Burrow that should have two, uh, Black Hill should have two, uh, Old Sawmill should have two, uh, Grasshopper Lands should have two, Far Cape two, uh, Crabskeet three, Icy Hollow should have two, uh, Dead Reef two, uh, Iron Burgeon two and tin virgin two uh grizzly caverns should have two and i still don't know how the hell to get over here i still don't know what to do in order to do that so that's gonna be interesting to find out but yeah there, there's like a lot oh yeah uh frost fang has two so there's like a lot of things that have uh, uh golden chests hell even the mills island has one so, yeah, there's there's still plenty of things to do, and I have a lot of uh, modifications to still find. I'm currently sitting at 178 out of 240. Uh, if I liberate the last two islands, that should be Aspia's Liberator Achievement Unlocked. And uh, then there are those hidden achievements, but they are bound always to like defeating Kane, defeating Ruth, and defeating Horos, wh whoever that might be. So, uh, yeah, there's there's definitely a lot to be done, a lot to be made. Uh, I'm gonna keep the uh, Stingray hull. I, I just like the speed it has, and when it comes to the overall weapons. I was able to pick up some modifications, so that's perfectly fine, but as you can see, I am clearly missing out on a large quantity of the modifications for the swarm weapons, for which so far I only came across a shotgun and the sort of uh, assault rifle slash SMG, and so the rest of the weapons which I have 
are almost fully modified, but I don't tend to use them so much. Therefore, I'm kind of trying to hold on to the red steel because it's a little bit harder to accumulate compared to the blue steel, which is used to upgrade your ship. And you use the blue steel to upgrade everything on board. And because if we take a look, everything here is fully upgraded. And if you pick up the game, uh, you have multiple halls to choose from. And those multiple halls will actually allow you to uh, keep the upgrade for each ship specifically. So if you have the basic hull, if you have the elephant, or if you have the stingray, whatever upgrade you go for, it will carry over to the other hull. It's just that each hull has different amount of weaponry, different amount of speed, and so on and such. I like the Stingray because it's fast, gets me from point A to point B quite efficiently, and it allows me to hit every goddamn piece of rock I can come across, or every island. So, uh, yeah, I kind of just uh, work with this. We should pick up some ship ammo just to be on the safe side. While we're here, so let's go and do just that. I'll pick up one more of these. And we can fast travel to our destination. And yeah, fast travel has been changed since the early access version because initially when the game was released, you actually had to pay for the fast travel. But now... Even during the early access, they actually removed the fact that you have to pay for it. But now, uh, it's it's not really a requirement. So, you don't have to pay for it, so that makes it super easy. Okay, now, where the hell is the entry? We're gonna have to look for some place for me to land. Okay, so we get a cutscene. <clears throat> hey, didn't you hear the captain's orders? Close the gate quick. A runaway is the last thing we need. Kane would have our hides. So they're removing the batteries, which means <clears throat> Ava will have to walk around the island and clear everything out. So this is the first chest. See a lot of specialization for damage output on these knuckleheads, but as long as I'm on board of the ship, should be able to clear them out. We're gonna take a look at the lighthouse. Just to see what's waiting for us. I already took some damage. <clears throat> so this is gonna be a lot of moving around and jumping from island to island. But that's perfectly fine. Uh, I could directly go and upgrade the bow. So I tend to use it anyhow. It actually does even manage to upgrade our ammo capacity. I really like the AI on the snipers because they try to like move the shots to where the game anticipates you are gonna try to roll away to dodge the projectile so it's not completely brain dead. gonna be ashamed to use the power up to help myself out here. I don't really <clears throat> recall the full layout of everything, but I'm quite sure we will figure out how to go, where to go.
Oh, crap. I need the ground. Hello? That did not go well. <clears throat> I still have one more med kit, but I'm sure I will come across more of them. Okay, one med kit is back. Oh yeah, and in the full version of the game, you can actually even upgrade the skyhook, which you use to move around. But I will be using a lot of the time dilation here. It's crazy overpowered skill, but it uh, allows you to get behind the falcons and when you melee them from the back uh, with the skyhook it actually gives you like a critical damage modifier and so you are almost able to even one shot these big guys with the yellow bar and those have like a sturdier HP bar so it takes two slices but because I'm so fast, they're not able to respond in a timely manner. And the reason why I'm doing this mostly is in order to preserve that med kit and to not take unnecessary damage. Because I cannot really fight while I carry around this goddamn battery. So I'm gonna hold on to the battery here. They already see, see me, so I'll just attack them like so. I want to pick up at least the red steel. I think there's still some more knuckleheads. This is just a sniper and the basic melee falcon, so I'm not going to use the power up on them. It'd be a waste. If you are running low on ammunition, try to crack open the crates. Uh, you can usually find supplies in there. It can be for ammo type or something else. Uh, so you never know. Pull this lever to crack open that. These two knuckleheads are... Okay, did not even have to use the power-up. We can put the mod box in here. If it's gonna be something basic, I'm not even gonna be able to open up that chest because I have all the gray versions of the modifications for the weapons. Oh crap, yeah, that, that's where I need to put the battery, so that's what we'll do. Ammunition is gonna disappear, but I kind of don't need it right now, and we need to make it to the second part of the islands. I'm not sure right now if I need to actually board the ship. Let's take a look. So I cleared out everything over here. So I'm guessing... In order to move in the ship, I'm going to have to go and hit some other island. And of course, if you want to fully liberate the island, you actually have to kill every falcon that you come across. So even if you see some knucklehead on an island somewhere, you actually have to take him out. I'm not sure how one of the red seals was able to fly all the way to the ship and the rest of them stayed on the island.
But okay, let's take a look at the second part. Okay, so there's the dead whale. Next to the chainsaw blades, we're gonna have lots of platforms. It seems like they were even able to get some sort of version of a hammerhead shark. This guy has the shield, so those are annoying as hell. I accidentally hit the barrel. So that's why I moved away from the explosion radius. Wait for him to turn around. That guy with the shotgun is gonna be a bit more annoying. that most of the work there goes our second golden chest and the third one should be somewhere around these ports I have no clue where I could have missed that one chest so I'll definitely have to go through most of the islands uh, it's kind of funny though, I do believe that Black Skylands is one of those games where you might be able to get all the achievements on one playthrough. It's certainly a fun indie game, but uh, a few changes have been made to how the story is done. And I'm not sure if that's an overall improvement or not. And that's like a debate that should be had. Because initially the story was that Ava's dad brought over one of the swarm creatures to the uh, father ship. And uh, Kane was uh, like a member of the society who lived there. But the creature attacked... Uh, Bo uh, well, almost him killed his uh, pet falcon, and uh, that that kind of put the wedge between Kane and the fathership, and so he went out and did his piratey thing, and eventually even like bombarded the fathership. And in here, it's it's kind of different. It's that the uh, Ava's father just what the hell just kind of goes, brings whatever egg from the swarm land, and uh, then suddenly the falcons attack. Like, the whole story about them has been completely erased. There's nothing that would explain why they're there or how they might have started to exist. Nothing, it's, it's all gone, so... It's it's kind of a if they decided you know what we don't need all of this let's just make one fancy cutscene which wasn't there before and people are gonna be happy. Well, if the game went under people's radar, it's it's uh, obvious because this is not a AAA title. You cannot expect a company like this to have the budget of Activision Blizzard and uh, pump out another Call of Duty, which is absolutely horrendous. But, uh, yeah, well, unfortunately it is what it is. So now I have to figure out how the hell to get over there. This one is closed. The fun thing is that in this like darker environment you can almost see the view of the enemy unit because it's like highlighted by this red cone and uh, if it's like strictly daylight or daytime it's not really visible at all so you trying to get like a sneak attack on the enemy is almost impossible unless you just really walk up behind them. And even these sawmills used to be super useful as a potential AoE damage or like some sort of environmental hazard which just used to punish 
the enemy units, but that's that's not the case, unfortunately, anymore. Actually, I get a double kill because they were standing so close to one another. Is that like a hammerhead shark? It looks like it, right? Oh yeah, you should go check out Dave the Diver on my channel. I love that game so much. It's like crazy. I, I have to admit, I was never a huge fan of like uh, Harry Potter. It took me forever to just get to watch the movies. I haven't read all the books, so... Um, that's why I've never like tried to touch the, the legacy of Hogwarts or what's the game called. Or Hogwarts Legacy or... Uh, yeah, you, you clearly see I haven't touched the game, but uh, I mean that that should be a good game too. So, but that's the thing, um, b because uh, the writer of the books said some things which are more of the conservative side, and the people just lost their shit. They wanted the game to fail, and all it led to was like additional publicity, and the game did even better than the studio could have ever expected it to perform. I don't understand. Why did you not turn around, you knucklehead? But okay, this is gonna open up the gate. So yeah, I mean... I want to make like a video on the ups and downs of this year when it comes to the video games in general. Because God knows we, we had it. Uh, really interesting year overall. So I think it deserves such a video from me. But we will see, we will see. I, I want to... I want to finish off the playthroughs and then I will just move on to whatever other projects I have currently opened up and I'll see. The, the problem is I want to make a lot of things and that's not good for me. I, I have to like focus or write down the list of things I want to do and just focus down on one thing. And then, when I'm done with that one thing, I can move on to the next thing. How many arms hurt? I can't go on carrying this cursed meat. Stop wriggling. All the guards are at... Are at lunch. If you don't give me away with your trashing, then we'll make it out. Oh, thank you for closing the goddamn gate. Oh damn, a turncoat. I don't want to die, I need to hide, but where? Yeah, that's a falcon tent. And actually the fun thing is I do believe that guy was there. Even during the early access version. Amos, please be quieter, there's still enemies nearby. Liberate this island so we can talk. I'll try to do my best. Yeah, I, I snuck in a little bit too fast. There goes our third chest. Should be the final one for this archipelago or island. So that should put me to 50 chests overall, and that means I have missed one somewhere. Which is gonna be painful as hell for me to get. This was not the smartest thing I ever did. Let's use some different weapon or change. Just mix it up. I have to kill that guy with that weapon. Because he has the weakness for that specific ammo type. See, my accuracy has gone down tremendously thanks to some of the mods installed. 
Oh, I thought that the laser is actually from an enemy sniper and not from like my own weapon. That's why I was like wiggling around. I love carrots remarkably the slots combination is the same as the number of carrots I left after breakfast, lunch and dinner. I always eat three for breakfast. I always buy enough carrots at lunch so I have five. I gave my moth one carrot for dinner before bed. Three, five, four? Ah, oh, really? Really, really? I think I have like the link to all the puzzles. Someone was able to put that together and publish it on Steam community somewhere. I think so. I'm not sure if I closed it or not. I'm gonna have to look if I still have that or if I <clears throat> did not keep it, which would just suck. And sure, sure, I can, like, screw around and try to click various numbers and whatnot, but, uh, yeah. I know if you like it. Where in the world... Post Malone was... That's weird. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure how you go around that, but that that's, doesn't matter. Now, the question for me is if I'll eventually have to go into, like, the Swarm Lands in order to just keep on grinding out the modifications for the Swarmlet weapons. It's going to be something that I'll have to take a look at. But okay, this portion of the island should be there for clear doubt. It's not even changing the color, which is interesting. Not that I care so much. But okay. Uh, seems like I have left behind a few knuckleheads somewhere around these parts. Not sure how I managed to do that. I want to make sure that I clear all of them out. Yeah, I said I'm gonna crash into every island, so don't look so surprised. Okay, we're gonna fly off to this region here. It'd be nice if I can get some better shot. Yeah, I cannot believe this works. But thank you for the tip in the comments. I was really hoping I would be able to pick up all the red steel, but oh, what the hell. Yeah, I was quite sure he's gonna get out of there eventually. Saying, 
some fancy ammo for these knuckleheads. I need to find the one with the mortar. He's just standing still, so that's gonna make it easier for me. Actually, it's kind of funny that the ones with the yellow HP, I tend to find that it's easier to take them out. Then I wanted to use the power-up uh, to take them out using the weapons for the gold. Okay, no more enemies on the island, which means that we have liberated this place. I still want to pick up whatever I can find on here. But uh, Well Hunter's Valley should be therefore off and we should only have to go and check out those last islands. And where's that guy with the damn tentacle or barnacle on his hand? It's kind of pointing me in this direction. Ah, oh, he hot hit in the guts. Thanks to the skies, I never imagined it would smell so bad in there. You're lucky you didn't suffocate right away. I'm Ava Marshall of Aspia. What's wrong with your arm? Oh, that was a little experiment, but I'm not dangerous and I'm not contagious, I swear. Uh, my arm just doesn't always obey me. My name is Owen. I'll forever curse the day I agreed to join that expedition to enter the Eternal Storm. First the swarm attack and then the falcons. But that's not important, Marshall. I need to get to the capital. The people need to know that, uh, that Levi theory is incorrect. Please don't tell me you've started believing in the well father. Of course not. I don't believe in fairy tales. I just... Uh, uh, I trust the sources. Look at the maps. The swarm somehow affects the position of the islands. Uh, is that even possible? Yes, according to ancient records, the swarm came to Earth along with a falling asteroid, but the great split happened later, and these creatures then somehow intervened. How? I don't know yet, but I will most certainly find an answer. You don't seem mm, possessed, and you don't have swarm fever. The father ship is not far from here. You can go and get some help there. Okay, and we get actually two modifiers for our weapons. Now, I don't know if there's more weapons uh, other than the shotgun and that uh, assault rifle, which I currently do have equipped. I'm trying to see if there's some sort of hidden nook or cranny. Because getting to some of these things can be annoying. AR barrel. Certain weapons seem to have more modifiers than the other ones. AR. Okay, we gotta check out this location too. I'll have to repeat the sequence. That I cannot cheese by any means. But I think. I really don't think there's actually a way for me to get there. Not at least through here. We're gonna go through the water. And I wanna pick up those crystals because, I don't know, I can upgrade some power. can talk to a person and get the reward for liberating the island. So let's get the reward. Hopefully it's not gonna be something that I won't be able to use. Because I still have, like, a ridiculous amount of, uh, mod boxes that need to be found. And I have no clue how the hell to get over to that location. There has to be a way. 
Maybe since I've opened up all the gates, it should be a little bit easier. But I'll have to check. go around through here really <laughs> fortunately from here I won't be able to move anywhere else because there is this sort of railing which prevents the movement roll <laughs> off over here How the hell do I get to that, uh, helicopter? <laughs> Maybe there's gonna be a way. Ah, I just found it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> I think I remember first three. And after that, I'm screwed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time, just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, smart thing would be to drop off all the mod boxes and everything over here. I can see if these two knuckleheads have some upgrade for me. Although I don't use some of these things at all. But Jericho was nice. When I discovered Jericho during the early access, this was the only power-up which allowed me to actually kill the swarm creatures because the, the swarm-like weapons were not given to me so easily in the early access. So, yeah. I also kind of like more the fact that you had to go and look for mod boxes for the ship specific attachments like if you wanted a large propeller or a large uh, gas tank and stuff like that uh here it's it's not the same so kind of sucks but that's okay we were able to get all of these don't really care i just wanted to see if there's something new if you want to do the challenges uh oh okay so that's how you apparently get some of these weapons but the question is uh you need four carpus four membrane the question is if you get modifications for these suckers because uh that's the thing you, you get like uh specific challenges and so you need like four of these just to get one of the weapons and these are like really really challenging ones uh like if you roll once it's game over if you uh use a weapon or something it's over you have to use only pistol you have to use only this or only that it's kind of annoying that way because uh, the whole point of your experience is to go through as many of the weapons as you can in order to keep it fun. Okay, special rifle butts. They are 
something. SMG. Shotgun magazine. Uh, everything else has been dropped off. We can smelt the ore. Not gonna get too much here. Take a look at the equipment. Let's go with the reload speed, even though the magazine is decreased. Magazine size, sure, we can go with this. I'm still missing a few of these, but honestly, there's no actual uh, achievement for collecting all the trinkets. So it's up to you if you want them or not. Uh, what we can do is theoretically refuel. I still have plenty of ammunition and everything, accidentally using the power up, but it's gonna replenish by the time we're back, so that's okay. So we will be able to just try to make it to Kane's base and see how the two big ships are gonna help us in the fight. These ones can be, I think, exchanged for some of the weapon mod boxes. I'm not sure right now. And there's even the opportunity for you to hunt for some of the fish in the swarm region. But I'm not sure where would you exchange them for something. I haven't seen that uh, option in either the Turtle Town or in Moth's Nest. Not sure right now. Let's talk to this knucklehead. Thank you for freeing the island, but uh, but the Falcons threw away all of our fishing gear. Now Espio will have to go without whale meal, meat and fish. How much time will it take to get the new gear? Far too long, but I heard there's a craftsman in Turtle Town who makes excellent harpoons and sturdy nets with hooks. If by any chance you find anything we could use for fishing or whale hunting, I'll have something for you in return. Okay, <clears throat> interesting. So let's see if the bug is gonna be here. Maybe it wasn't specifically at this location, but at King's Fort, I don't remember right now. It's been like what? The game came out in 2021. That's when I covered the early access version, I believe. And I'm even like proud, prone to forgetting important things, so don't be mad at me. Oh, they're shooting the logs as projectiles. Nice. And the stone. So that's gonna do some damage. And I think that's Kane. Why are those ships still flying? Who thought you to shoot? We're trying, but the shells can't pierce their armor. Well, keep shooting them. What are those things they've got hanging off them? Damn, it's impossible to hit that ship. It's too maneuverable, and it's got us clear in its sights. I'll deal with it quickly. We'll cover you. That's salt. 
I don't know if I have to actually board these ships and clear out these knuckleheads. One sniper round and there's a crack in the hull, really? Turn around. Okay. Doesn't seem to have anything in the cargo hold. How about the second one? If I stay far enough, I won't be able to do much. I'm kind of mad about missing out on that red shield, but pick it up anyhow. Two more knuckleheads on board. This one which I needed to turn around and turn around just in the right time. And you had to turn. Okay. So Caden's boss fight in the early access version was uh not the build-up I was expecting. Okay, so I need fire support. You heard her, Marshall. Fire at the fort. You must stop Kane while our armor holds up. Distract the Falcons and I'll fight my way through the howitzer. Through to the howitzer. I, I don't know what's wrong with me not being able to read today, but... Which is actually kind of funny because all I did until now was just keep reading and reading. And I have had a long ass week at work. I'll tell you that. Oh, so that's what I was supposed to do. Because I had to write weapon modification. Or weapon equipped. Yeah, don't, don't, don't! Just forget you saw me here. Oh my god, I did not know I can like hook them up and bring them closer. That's fine. I don't know where the mortar unit is at. Hey, I even saw like the mortar shell fly and land next to me. That's fun. Just like doing it with the mortar. Oh yeah, on like the previous episode of the life, but I did not remember the name of that weapon specifically. So Just keep standing here. Whoa, what the hell was that? Somehow jumped in this time dilution speed. I didn't so far. Damn the waste block. Hey moth, help clear away the wreckage. that this bow I did not even get the, in the early access version just like uh, one weapon which I received uh, when I started playing the full version it was like thank you for playing the early access or something but I really like the bow to be honest I would not want to have a goddamn tank beneath the goddamn mortar. That thing must be loud as hell. Where are you going? Come back. Another 
don't fun. There's a lot of these things with the ammo. Now let's see if the fight with Kane is gonna be as fun as I remember it is, or not. Actually get them from behind. damage style output. Just dealing so much damage, I should have just knifed him or harpooned him. Saved myself a lot of hassle here. Okay, surrender king. I'm so sick of you, Marshall. You ruined such a great plan. Great plan. Your howitzers destroyed the moth nest and you were going to feed Aspians to the swarm. Do you have any idea how much we can earn on Swarmlet? My Falcons and I will be set for life. Everything that the Empire owns us, we will take with our own hands. It's not too late to join me, Ava. I know the value of people. I'd rather jump into the maw of the Devourer than become one of your curse. Shame. I never expected another answer anyway. But thank you for destroying the ammo box. We thought you could do with some help. Okay, that's definitely new. This, this is not how the battle will happen during the early access. Oh, knifing this dumbass. Look at how much damage I'm dealing to him alone. All because he won't turn around. I think I'll finish it off with having still one guy alive. You won't get away? What do you mean? He, he, like, literally should be dead by now. But yeah, there's, like, another stage to this. Let's go and reload. I think I will switch out the shotgun for maybe the rocket launcher. And... Do we have enough? Yes, we do. Yeah, this is not gonna be fun. Or worse than the monsters with which you want to fill Aspia. They kill so they can live. Why did you destroy so many people for? Do you think the Emperor won't do the same once he finds out that the swarm produces the most valuable resource in Skylands? Osnia will sacrifice anything if it will allow it to defeat Nordvold. The Empire doesn't give a damn even about its own soldiers. But it's your Falcons who rob and kidnap peaceful civilians. Elden died because of you. It's you who bombarded the Moth Nest and killed my grandpa. Oswald is dead? He got what he deserved. He was a stubborn fool who saw nothing beyond his cabbage. That's actually true. Grandpa wanted Ava to be a farmer. I think so, initially. But, uh... Yeah, things happened, and they changed the story in the full version, and Ava was actually sent off to the capital, where she trained, so it's not like she stayed the whole time at the father ship uh, until that one day when the Falcons bombarded the ship. Don't you dare talk about him like that. Well, let's see how this fight is gonna go.
guy. Kane is almost dead. Nope. Probably using the bow is not the smartest choice, but... Now oh, what the hell. Finish him off with the weapon I enjoyed the most. Okay, so that's the feat of Kane. Why are you just standing there? You've won, Marshall. Or are you too lily liver to pull the trigger? I hate you. Ava, stop. But the uh, whale gullet Peter, you wanted to have revenge on Kane yourself. He killed your father, remember? And he will stand trial for that by the law, Ava. This vermin deserves to die. Can't be judge, jury, and executioner all at the same time. Those were your words. Don't break your own principles. Don't become like Cain. Oswald wouldn't uh, have wanted that. You're right, Cain will stand trial. The howitzer is now under our control, and no one will shed our ships anymore. Peter sent a report to the capital with a request for help. We won't be able to deal with the swarm on our own. All right, I'm going to fly to the father ship now. You really are a spineless worm. I don't care what the monster who experiments on his own people thinks of me. What experiments, Marshall? Have you lost your mind? I always valued my lads. Enough, tell me where the device that turns off the dome is or I will beat the information out of you. Don't try to get out of this. Ruth told me all about your plans. Ruth told you? <laughs> I would fall over from laughter if I wasn't tied up. I won't have a device of any kind like that and it's the first time I've heard of the experiments. You better ask our good old doctor if you want to know the truth, Marshall, and to find your father. My father? What do you mean? Out with it, right now. My head. Damn, damn, damn. Wait, there's something about defeating Ruth. Is she gonna go all Zerg on us like in StarCraft 2 where we had that doctor who got infected with the Zerg virus and then Raynor had to kill her? We want Ava, we've kicked the Falcon's scrawny butts. Ewing, take care of Kane, bandage his wounds and stuff him with medicine, do whatever, but I need him alive. I'm flying off to the father ship. Now hold on, don't leave the damn modification box there. There are no more enemies here. This island can now be considered defended. And there goes Liberate Old Islands! So that's Kane's fort. We're gonna have to... Yeah, so this is where one of the big ships, the Stone Eater, or what's it called, should be, but it's no longer there. Let's get a reward, hopefully it's a mod box. Now the question is, what the hell is this place? Sleepy Refuge. I want to see. And since Kane has been defeated, there should be like no more ships, but... They're somehow still here. So, that was really fast. right now to the father ship but what I'll do is at least discover this location so we have like a fast travel point I can transfer these things I can try to go to the father ship and see what we will discover now. If Ruth is gonna tell us something. Or whoever. 
Peter, what happened to you? Where's Ruth? She attacked me, injected me with some filth. I'm seeing double. This is no good. We're all burning up, lad. I see a request for help to the capital, and the Ruth, she took the device Jin gave me. I'm sorry. If she connected to two ports, she can turn off the towers. Whatever Ruth really wants to do, I promise I will find her. You need to rest. Nope, I failed you. I'm going to go with you. You're not going anywhere. You're going to sleep it off until you feel better. Ava, I don't like the seed of Peter. Uh, pe uh, la, la, la. I don't like the seed of Peter. The Falcons also mumbled and complained of a fever back at the rocky cliff, and then they grew pincers. That won't happen to him. It's the root behind the experiments. She must have an antidote. Then hurry because he doesn't have much time. If I drag Kane to the father ship, the son of a bitch has woken up. You're right on time, Ewing. Please send Peter to bed and I will check on that scoundrel. Why is he like across the goddamn ship? Don't you have like a holding cell or something? Is there something you want to tell me? Some new modification? Something? Nope, everything has been modified to the maximum level and I have a few things to spare. Awesome. Uh, those modification boxes. Let's see what do we get. Okay, let's go to talk to Kane. Where's Ruth? No words of grading, Marshall? Straight down to business, right? Answer me. Why should I help you? If she manages to outplay you, I'll be glad. Not for long, Ruth could turn off the towers at any moment, and all the might of the swarm will come down upon us. Come on, Kane, help me stop this disaster. It was Ruth who made your falcons into monsters. That fate awaits my friends as well now. Down the will go with you, Marshal. This is only for the lads, you hear? For their memory. Look for her in Sleepy Refuge. I took your daddy there along with the other members of the expedition. They were sent to study the swarm. I don't know why Ruth needed them. Sometimes you'll actually not a douchebag, but I will s still never forgive you for Grandpa's death. Okay, so... Good thing probably I went here first. At least we have this story covered. And now we have like a real reason to go to this location. So, if we take a look at the achievements, uh, we need to defeat Ruth. I have no clue who is Horus. And uh, yeah, I'll have to get the weapon mods, find that one last chest of gold. And somehow obtain a steel conjure crossbow, which I have zero freaking idea where the hell that is, but uh, here goes something, I guess. Try to clear the path. It's the fact that the shells splinter or the projectiles go all over the place is beneficial. But this is definitely a new location. Uh, so let's take a look. Whoa. Yeah, these are like creatures mixed with the actual Kane's Falcons or something. Ah, crap, that's not what I wanted to do. I actually cracked the sucker open right over here. And I think for the time being, I can go back to the shotgun. I have to be careful around these red barrels because they can go kaboom. And those uh, green pustules on the ground, they need to be destroyed or they will turn into the swarm creatures with the pincers. Heavens. These are the refugees from the desert lands and Thar. How could Ruth do this? And she looked so innocent. So they kind of... 
changed this. The swarm appears to be at the end of the year and brought the fever. The first to get sick were the children. Ethan went down in the spring. He caught so much that uh, the whole bed shakes. I can't sleep for the third night through. Okay. Yeah, get zapped. Yeah, that's convenient. But those guided projectiles really are not. Get Luma's help. Theoretically, I can try to guide these knuckleheads to go over here. I'm not sure if this one will actually be willing to go along with it. all of this and there to guide them but they would decide to follow in there to take some added damage and I should avoid standing in it probably as well If I would use the power up to slow down the time, it would be so much easier for me, but I want to make it a little bit more fun as well. Make sure to take them out. Ethan is getting weaker by the day. I tried everything I could. Nothing helped me. The smith caught a linger two days ago. I want to take a blood sample from the creature. Maybe I'll find the answers. So maybe she's experimenting on everyone because someone close to her got sick and there just wasn't any other way. A little immoral to sacrifice lots of others to cure one person. But what the hell do I know about writing a good story? With the way things are going... Maybe I could be the writer for Disney. That bullshit they pulled with Ahsoka and all these other shows. Holy crap, that was just bad. Okay, so let's see what else do we have where. up. Gain access to this location now. That barrel should have done some damage. He walked up too close to me. It's his own fault. Okay, blocking off the modifying box unlocker is rude, but I'll take it. Seriously, you have to make those rounds guided. Okay, there's a mod box, so I'll go pick that one up. fast yeah maybe not the one with the pincher but still swarm creature nonetheless either that's spewing out some gas how about you don't do whatever you were planning on doing and just blow up. 
My neighbor came to visit and offered to help with the funeral. I threw her out. Ethan is breathing. Yes, it might be difficult, but my son is still alive. The first vaccine is ready. I will test it on myself first. Yeah, I don't think that worked out the way she was hoping for it to work out. I'll need the platform to get me out of here. Yeah, yeah, I know I took a little damage, but I'll just go pick up the ammo and the, the health here. Let's see how much damage can we do here. Maybe the rocket launcher would not be so bad. just stood there and took all the punishment uh, at least that makes it easier on me nothing here I really require okay no more enemies here. Island is liberated, but I still need to deal with Ruth. I have no clue where the heck is that the uh, other boss. Please don't tell me I have to actually like collect all the goddamn uh, weapons from the challenges in order to unlock that that final boss. The vaccine works. I managed to suppress the first symptoms of the disease, but I constantly feel dizzy. I hear Ethan calling me, but it's not him. My son uh, never wakes up anymore. Uh, let's see what Ruth is up to. And yeah, I'm gonna get the rocket launcher. Holy crap, how many people does she have here? You're the uh, you're here at least, Ava. I must admit, I expected you earlier. Kane said you had my father. Kane, Kane. All I had to do was promise him profit from the seal, a swarmlet, and the greedy idiot lost his head. You can't imagine how much he annoyed me. The damn towers are even more infuriating. That's fine, though. I will soon free the swarm. Horace prison is too small for him. Can't you hear him call Ava? You're also one of us. Stop talking garbage and tell me where my dad is. Dr. Mills denied that you were special, but I felt it from the very beginning. I was always interested in what you're like inside. What you, what would happen if I injected you with the serum? Ruth, tell me there's an antidote I must cure Peter. What for? He will soon become part of us, part of Horos. He will also hear the call, which cannot be disobeyed. You can't imagine how hard it is to wear his mask. It's like dead skin, time to throw it away. Okay! I feel so much better, like this. Whoa. Hey! What the fudge? Can I even like dodge these? Yeah, I can. Burn. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm not even close to. Shoot at the robot. Okay, I'll just stand here. I want to dissect you, but that's a But I don't want any of that. Thank you very much for the offer, I guess. Did she 
face out of like a freaking creature? Okay, hold on, we have to swap out this for... No idea. Uh, let's see what's gonna happen. if I'm ever injured when I'm like pushed off the ledge but hey if this gives me ammunition then I uh, will keep breaking those containers yeah the central structure seems to take a lot more damage Okay, so if I don't destroy these in a timely fashion, they will... What the fudge? Turn into... The Swarm Infected. I'm out of ammo here as well. Awesome. I'm trying to figure out what would be like an adequate replacement, but uh... Oh, so these ones want to turn on the roof, huh? Well, at least the bow tends to one-shot these, if I don't get hit by it directly. That is super slow rate of fire, so that's not good. Except the new reality. This thing is turning more and more into swarm creature. Defeated Ruth. But then there's the Horos. Where the hell is this Horos thing? The antidote, where is it? It doesn't matter. Horos will consume all soon. You won't be able to stop him. Ruth. Mother. Here. Well, it would be kind of awesome if they would morph into one body and you would have to fight that. But maybe I'm just uh, going a little bit too much uh, dead space on it. Ava! Dad, thank the skies you're alive. Are you alright? Are you wounded? Can you walk? Stop uh, nattering away if I'm fine. Where's Ruth and her pet monsters? They're all dead. You're free now. 
She told me that you destroyed the Falcons, dealt with Kane, and avenged Oswald all on your own. Sorry I couldn't save Grandpa, but I wasn't alone. I had help from Jim and Ewing and Peter Heavens Peter. That Ruth poisoned my friend, and he is now slowly becoming part of the swarm. He must have an antidote. Have you seen it? Look for it, it's somewhere here. This is where Ruth kept Ethan. She experimented on him, turning her son into a monster and back until he completely lost his mind. How could she torment her own child? The swarm is seamless mechanism. It has a single consciousness which is controlled by Horos. As soon as Ruth tried to ser uh, serum, she stopped being herself. It's that, if that's the truth, then why didn't she turn off the towers immediately when she had Jim's device? The monsters would have filled Aspia already. She was probably held back by her love for her son deep inside her heart. She tried to preserve his life for all of those years. How do you know so much about the swarm? I have studied it for many years. This is why Ruth kidnapped me. Okay, that's the antidote. This is probably the antidote. Probably. Awesome. What the hell? Dad, what are you doing? I'm fixing my mistake. You were so little and Oswald fell in love with you with all his heart, so I could not kill the monster. Monster? Dad, what are you talking about? 20 years ago, I was searching for the remains of an ancient civilization and ended up in a cave in the desert lands where I found the petrified egg of a swarm. My blood brought it to the light brought it back to life. Inside it, you turned out to be inside it, Ava, and you really looked like a human, but the swarm knows how to decide. It was reason for the great split and it now thirsts to complete what it began to destroy humanity. No, that isn't true, you're lying, I'm a human. A human cannot battle a whole army on her own, how many have you killed already? I was doing my duty, I was defending Aspia. Dad, I love you, please. We need to save Peter. He will die if I don't get him. Got, don't get there in time. Jesus, seriously, what is wrong with me today? Bam! <laughs> oh, I can't do this. Go, leave me. Wish my mother really was from Northvolt. Get out of here. <laughs> So, so where's this weirdo that I'm supposed to fight? Can we go back to the father ship? And I have to fight this Horos thing, you know? Why is Peter in the cage? For his own safety. The lad's really bad. He asked us to shoot him when he, we refused. He almost threw himself off the ship. Ava, the sky's so pretty. Did I see? I want to be racer. It's when the diamond mine grand breaks. I could. Of course, you could. We will inject you with the antidote, and then you're sure to win your grand breaks. It said you're pretty. Mm, and your eyes so beautiful like the skies. I'm so hot, Ava. Okay, that that's really bad dirty talk, but I'll accept it. Everything will be fine, Peter. Just hold on a little longer. It's about to get easier. Peter! Ava, what? How did... By the skies, I'm back, Ava, thank you. I'll be in your debt for the rest of my life. Don't be silly, we're lucky that the antidote actually worked. It really scared us, lad. But it's all over now, right? The swarm still threatens Aspia. My message could have gotten to the capital now. Help will arrive soon. Oh yeah, there's no way we can beat the monsters on our own, even with the s a sawduster and stone eater. But we defeated Cain, and we should be able to celebrate that. I think that's a great idea. The people are tired and they need a party. I'm going to take on the organizing. Okay, but seriously, where is that like final boss thingy? How do I find that or beat that? Do we have the mod boxes? Uh, 
Just crack these suckers open. I have honestly zero idea how many I'm still missing. I feel like I'm getting just modification boxes for two cre uh, weapons over and over again. Are you sure you can handle the preparation by yourself? Of course not. Borwan promised to bring three barrels of ale. Aiming will do the lights and Auntie Lauren will bake the cakes. And I can wait for the fireworks in the evening. Now then we've got the tables, plates, glasses and napkins ready. By disguise I completely forgot about the napkins. I can help. No way, you already did more for us than anyone ever. Have uh, some proper fun today. You look awful. Was there something else you actually have? But everything fine, Zelsi. Thanks for caring. Are you sure? All right, now there. Where did I stop? Oh yeah, the napkins. I swear, it's easier to assemble a carburetor than to organize a party. Final part of the game. The final part of the game is beginning, where you won't be able to explore the open world and gather resources. You will be able to return to this moment after completing the game. Are you ready to set off on your final adventure right now? Okay, so I'm gonna have to come back later. Because I'm missing one stupid chest. I have no clue where the hell to pick up the damn thing. But I have 189 out of 240 weapon parts. Jesus freaking Christ, that's, that's not funny at all. Uh, man, I have no clue where that one actual, uh, what's it called? Uh, treasure chest can be, so I'll have to go across all the islands probably, which is gonna take a crap ton of time. Uh, no clue what to do with the weapon mods, uh, maybe I'll be able to buy them or something, and uh, steel conjure crossbow, no freaking clue. No freaking clue. And I don't know if uh, that's done by defeating the Horos or something. I have no idea. But that's the thing. I'll need to probably get the weapon modifications and all this other jazz before I would uh, try to move on to the final thing. So, uh, God damn it! how will I do this? How will I do this? That, that, that's like the problem, that the map doesn't really tell you how many of the treasure chests you have discovered. So you have no idea what can be where. This is just terrible. And it's all because of one stupid freaking chest. That's not even funny. Okay, I'll, I'll probably try to just play through the game. Uh, skip until we go to the final part and see what can be done. So I'll talk to you in a few seconds, which will be probably hours for me because... Yay! One stupid treasure chest. You, you can't make this shit up. I swear to God. How do I miss a treasure chest? If it would be at least like five or something, but one, that's, that's even worse because you don't know where to go. 